Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw short facial hair. So I'm going to try to keep most of this video in real time, at least the first half of it I'll do in real time and then I might speed it up for the second half just so it doesn't get too long. So I find that short facial hair is actually a little bit harder to draw sometimes than if you're drawing a full beard. When you're drawing a full beard, it's almost just like drawing hair, so it's really similar techniques and you can just kind of draw it as if you were drawing hair. For short facial hair that's more like stubble, it's a little bit harder because you still want to make it look like it's short little hairs, but you don't want it to look like just random lines on the face. And it can be a little bit harder to kind of incorporate the hair into the skin so that it looks like it's a hair coming out of the skin and not just a random line on the face. So the first thing that I did was I took a 5B pencil and I started drawing in some of the darker areas. As you can see in this video, I'm putting a little bit more pressure in some of the spots that were more shadowed and then using a little bit lighter pressure in the areas that were going to be lighter. You want to keep your pencil strokes very light and you want to kind of feather them away from where they start so, so they'll be a little bit darker where they start and then they'll fade away a bit. So you just want to make sure that your pencil strokes aren't getting too heavy into the paper either. You don't want to be creating a dent in the paper as you're doing these lines. So as you can see as I'm doing these, right now it kind of looks a little bit weird. It doesn't really look like stubble, but it's important to get the lines in there so that you do have the appearance of hair. But remember, you don't have to draw in every single hair that you see. You just kind of want to have the illusion of all of the hair. So you just want to do kind of like clumps. Unless you're going for a hyper-realistic look, you don't have to go in and draw every single individual hair. Just kind of get the illusion of the stubble. So I just continued drawing in some of the lines. I worked on half of the face at a time, so I just did all of the lines that I wanted for the first half. I usually start with the sh shading of the face mostly done. I try to do the overall general shading that I want in the face first and then I go and do the hair. So after I've put in general spots for all of the hair, then I blend it out with my paintbrush. And then I use my eraser and I go through and I put similar small hair strokes throughout all of the hair. Now this is something that will depend on your reference photo. So the picture I was drawing, there was some blonder looking hair in, in the facial hair. So that's why I was using the eraser here and it gives the illusion of blonde hairs. If the person that you're drawing has very dark stubble, then you might not want to use the eraser like this. In that case, you might want to just put it in a few places to highlight. <laughs> So then after I do the eraser, I go through and blend again. And you can see already that it's starting to look a little bit more like stubble and not just lines all over the face. And then I go back with my 5B again and I continue to darken the areas that I want to be really dark and adding some slightly darker hairs. And so just like when you're drawing hair on someone's head, you want to do a couple layers to make sure that it really gets depth and it actually looks like stubble on someone's face. So I just continue to go back 
and darkened some of the areas and then I blended and then I went back again with my eraser and I just continued to do this until it started to look more like actual stubble. You really want to make it so that the hairs that you're drawing look like they're kind of feathering into the skin and that's what doing the blending and using the eraser will help with. It makes it look more like the hair is coming from underneath the skin as opposed to just a line drawn right on top of the skin. I find too that drawing facial hair is kind of a little bit of trial and error. So you want to just make sure that you start out very lightly and then you can always add on top. It'll be a lot harder to try to erase if you go too dark. And also just doing the layering will help it look more realistic as well. So it's a lot better to do the, the layering and to start out lighter and keep going on top as opposed to starting off really, really dark and having it be too dark. Like pretty much every drawing that I've done a tutorial on, you wanna make sure that you're really paying attention to your reference photo. Using that reference will really help you know whether you're doing it too light or too dark. For example, for this one, I could tell I needed more of the highlight, so that's why I kept going back and using the eraser. It's important to notice on your reference if there's hairs that look lighter than the skin. If that's the case, that's when you would wanna use the eraser more to make the look of white or blonde hairs coming through. And as you can see, as you just keep layering and layering, it really does start to look like stubble. Another thing that you have to be careful of is you wanna make sure that you're not making each hair too long. If you are trying to do stubble, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your pencil strokes really short so that way it looks like stubble and not a longer beard. Another thing that's really important, not just for when you're doing stubble, but just for when you're drawing a face in general, actually, you wanna make sure that you put enough shadow the chin doesn't just get cut off and then you have the neck. It's rounded and curves into the neck. You want to make sure that you're showing that contour and shading it properly. Like you can see how I had the shadowing on this one before I even started with the stubble. It was actually really dark at the point where, where it's no longer in your view. And that will really show the true curve of the face and make it look a lot more realistic. And this is why I find it a lot easier to do the shading of the face before I add the stubble. Even if someone has completely blonde stubble, it will look very dark at the bottom of their chin as it's flowing into the neck because of the shadowing from their face. So you just want to make sure that you have it shadowed correctly so that it looks very realistic. So really you just want to keep layering and layering until you achieve the look that matches your reference photo. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials. Bye guys!